So the first weekend of the beta is now over and done with, but that isn't everything with the beta over and finished with. We actually have another beta coming in the next weekend, starting around about the 17th, 18th of September. So make sure you look out for that one, because that will be for the Xbox, the PC, and again, the PlayStation. But there is one little catch with this. For the PC and the Xbox, you do need a beta code. And guess what? We have some more beta codes coming for the beta coming out this weekend. So if you guys want to be in a chance of getting one of those beta codes, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comment section that you want one of these beta codes. So today's video is all about the weekend one of the Call of Duty Vanguard beta. There's ups and downs, lefts and rights, and basically overall, I actually had a really good time with this, but I understand people in the community didn't have such a great time. Obviously, I'm gonna cover over some of the good, some of the bad, and some of the okay kind of stuff. So let's get a let's get the bad stuff out of the way with first. I'd probably say the first major thing, which is probably the biggest, like worst thing about the beta, was the inconsistent audio. The audio is great when it worked, but it's inconsistent. This is like I can hear my teammates' footsteps louder than I can either hear my footsteps or even the enemy's footsteps, and that is just. It's inconsistent because sometimes you would hear the enemy's footsteps louder over everybody's but you're probably thinking they're probably your own teammates or your own footsteps so the audio definitely needs to have a bit of a tweak but other than that the gameplay was actually pretty good so everybody talks about the engines and is this engine good is it engine bad but nobody really understands what the engine actually is does the game feel great? Yes. Does the game feel like it's going to be progressing in a really good way? Yes. Then it doesn't really matter what anything else and anybody else says, as long as you yourself are having a good time and you're actually responding to the correct feedback and pushing it back to Sledgehammer like they're asking for, then you shouldn't really have uh, any issues. If you're having a good time, fantastic. If you're having a bad time, push your feedback towards Sledgehammer because they are making tweaks towards the beta as the weekends go along. So overall, the beta was pretty good, except for the audio and that one map, Red Star, that probably is the worst map inside of the beta. I understand this video is a bit of a rambling video and it's kind of not structured very well, but I'm kind of getting my point across. This beta was good, but things need to be changed and if you have been playing this beta, and you've noticed any bugs or any issues, make sure you fire them across to Sledgehammer Games. They also do have a feedback link, which I will be leaving down in the description below. So make sure you hit that link and leave all your feedback. All good, all bad, anything that you wanna change, anything that you wanna stay the same, make sure you leave it in that feedback because they are doing God's plan. Those are the people that listen to what we want to happen inside the Call of Duty game. So push in all your information, all your feedback there, and they will sort out and do what they need to do to make this game a really good game. So now let's talk about some of the good things that happened with inside of Call of Duty Vanguard Beta. The gunplay was really good. The, the time to kill, fantastic. It's just those armor plates which they brought in, they shouldn't be there really. It doesn't really work well with the multiplayer. I understand it works well with Champion Hill multiplayer, but regular multiplayer, it shouldn't have a fast charge. But that's probably my only issue with the gunplay, is there's just one thing that's stopping you getting that fast time to kill, which we all love to see. The STG was fantastic, the, the MP40 is fantastic. The bar, not my favorite, but it did the job. The, the carbine, the zooming in, bit questionable, but obviously that is subject to change before the next beta and the launch. So all those kind of things that you have, good, bad, the ugly, make sure you leave them on that feedback link. So just like I said at the beginning of the video, there is another beta coming this weekend. If you do want to get yourself a beta code, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you let me know down in the comment section that you want one of these codes for the Xbox and the PC. Other than that, the PlayStation beta is going to be back once again for the weekend and the following weekend after that so there's lots of gameplay and lots of things we can go and mess around with and hopefully there's new guns new maps 
new game modes, new score streaks, new everything. Hopefully there's something new for everybody to, to go and do and have a bit of fun with. And also, once again, there is that level 20 that you get to. You get yourself a free blueprint, which you can use straight away. And just by playing the beta, you're actually earning Battle Pass tier XP for Modern Warfare, Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. So that's also awesome at the same time. So the beta offers quite a lot. There's obviously going to be some issues because it's a beta. They're offering you some rewards for playing the beta. Honestly, you can't really complain. Let's be honest. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave all your feedback in the comments section below. If you want one of them beta codes, make sure you let me know. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the comment section, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out. Peace.